Danger. In this video, I'll be handling corrosive acids and doing reactions that produce deadly fumes. Doing these reactions without proper safety equipment could cause serious injury or death. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Three tips here. We'll look down into our uh, bucket. You'll see that the uh, solids have settled completely. What we're gonna do now, turn off the fan there. What we're gonna do now is siphon this out into a clean waste bucket down here. I've got a tube of water. And what I do is just place my thumb over one end like this. Stick the open end into my bucket that I want to siphon. And then just let my thumb off. Let me see if I can get the camera pointed down there. Let my thumb off. And let the water flow down into the waste container. I got most of the water out of there, or the uh, waste solution, but there's a little remaining in there. I wanna make sure I get most of this off of the black powder so that when we uh, go to rinse this, most of that acid has been drawn off of our black powder. So what I'm doing is just using a smaller tube here to siphon a little bit more of the water off so I don't draw a bunch of the uh, solids up with that larger hose that I was using earlier. I'm gonna cover up the uh, waste solution here. And we'll set this off to the side. What we'll do is uh, put this through the waste treatment process in my waste treatment bucket. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get set up here to uh, get our black powder. Pour it off. Here's what it looks like. It's looking pretty good, man. There's a lot of it there. Uh, it looks like a lot. My experience is that uh, when it's in the beaker like that, it looks like it's a ton of material. But then when you uh, when you actually go to refine it, let me get this out of the way. When you actually go to refine it, it's not all that much. So I'm just gonna pour it into this beaker now. We're gonna rinse all the black powder down into this beaker. I've got some hot tap water here. I'm just gonna top this off with the hot tap water. And what we're looking to do here 
is rinse most of the acid off of our black powder here. And what we'll do now is set it up and rinse more of the acid off of our black gold powder. Now to uh, illustrate what we've done here, just as an explanation, we had small, very thin amounts of gold on all of this gold plated material. Uh, very thin. And what we've done is we've concentrated. If you spread all this out and make a big area, a big surface area of real thin gold. And what we've done now is stripped it off and concentrated it into this container. Once this settles, then we'll pour or siphon the liquid off out of here and maybe do one more rinse. Okay, this has been allowed to settle for about two hours. And if you look down there, this is a two liter beaker and we're about almost one inch tall of the black sediment. Of course, it's finely divided and as it settles longer, that uh, amount will pack down and it'll be, become compressed a little bit as it settles. But this is look, looking promising. All right, I've always said that gold plated scrap has about one gram per 10 pounds of scrap. And uh, judging by the amount of material out there in that beaker, I may have to eat my words on that. Uh, we processed 5,679 grams. You divide that by 454 grams. That's how many grams in a pound. And we've got 12.5 pounds of material that we ran through the sulfuric acid stripping cell. All right, Mrs. Shree Tips has laid down the law to me. I've got a box here, a double wall box. I custom fit one to go down inside the uh, priority mail medium flat rate box. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pack this thing full of gold plated jewelry we're going to offer for sale on my ebay store let's get a weight on this uh this contraption here these two boxes and we've got 451 grams so that's one pound the boxes weigh one pound Okay, what I'm going to do now is stuff as much of this gold-plated jewelry as I can into this box. And then we're going to offer it for sale on my eBay store. I've just got too much of it. I've let it accumulate for about three or four years. And so uh, she says she's tired of looking at it. I got to get rid of it. And it's, uh, I processed all I can in the uh, sulfuric acid stripping cell. So now I got to get rid of it. The rest of it here. That's, this box should hold about 20 pounds of gold plated stuff here. Let's see. just as much as I could get down into the box here. I gotta try to seal it up. I double walled the box, like I said, because the uh, the flat rate boxes are just too thin. 
I don't think they'd take the uh, the punishment of being shipped like this. Probably going to be about 20 pounds of jewelry here. Got everything in there. Let's see if that's going to fit. Yeah, that should do. That should do us. Okay. That's about 20 pounds of jewelry. Gold plated stuff. Uh, what this material is, it's all stuff. When she finds jewelry and brings it to me, I go through it all and I separate out all the stuff, all the carrot gold, all the silver. All the gold filled stuff, I put it up. Any of the gold plated stuff gets put in these three bins. And that's what this material is. It's the same material that I used to uh, deplate uh, the gold from for this experiment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this up, uh, get a weight on it and put it for sale up for bids on the eBay store. This will conclude part six of the uh, deplating series. That material out there in the bottom of that two liter beaker is looking real good. Looks like a lot more than I thought there was gonna be. So what we're gonna do is continue to rinse it so I get most of the sulfuric acid off of there and uh, so I can put it in a filter and then we'll take that filter with the uh, black material uh, that we filter out of the solution, put it in the Franken oven and incinerate it. And then we'll dissolve with hydrochloric acid and bleach and precipitate out the pure gold with stump out. In the meantime, Mrs. Three Tips has given me an order. She says, get rid of this stuff. I can't spend any more time on it. So I've got a box of it packaged up right here and uh, we'll get it weighed up and get this listed on my eBay store. Probably gonna be about 20 pounds here, at least 15. So, uh, all right, that will conclude part six of the gold-plated stripping cell video series. Thank you for watching.